Enjoy Mercy, everyone. Greeting in the name of Jesus, Savior, our Lord. Hope you are doing well. And once again, you are welcome back to my channel. I'm a smoke no official. So hope you are doing well. And today, I just want to share you about God wisdom and human wisdom from the passage 1 Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 6 to 16. As we look through this passage, we can see the difference between God's wisdom and human wisdom. Before starting this message, I just want to draw back your attention to the background of this book. As we can see, the book of Corinthians was written by Apostle Paul during the time period of 53 to 53 AD. He wrote this letter during his third missionary journey. Towards the end of three years ministering in Ephesus, mainly he addresses the Corinthians believers specifically, but the letter is relevant to the present context of follower of Christ. And if we observe this chapter 2 very clearly, we can see that during time period of believers of Corinthians was divided due to the wisdom. Church was divided by human wisdom. And these chapters continue to deal with the problems of disunity in the church of Corinth and in particular with allegiance to human philosophies and the leader that contributes to the disunity. Human wisdom was keeping believers far from divine wisdom and from spiritual growth and unity. So today, mainly I'll be focusing on God's wisdom and human wisdom. As we know that the word wisdom is derived from Latin word serpentinia, which means to taste or to discern, and the sophia is a Greek word for it. In common language, wisdom means to understand or to know and to have. As we can see in the book of Proverbs, book of Proverbs also challenge us that to gain knowledge and wisdom and to apply the knowledge and wisdom to our life and share the wisdom what we gain to each others. And in this context or in these verses, we can find that there are two kinds of wisdom. The one is the human wisdom and the second one is God wisdom. For example, the example is that for a flea to understand a dog, it will have to be at least an advance as a dog. For a dog to understand man, it will have to be at least an advance as a man. In the same way, for man to understand God's wisdom, we should have God's spirit. Without God, human become blind. With the wisdom of human, man become completely blindness. So today, I just want to share a first point in means of you. The first point is human wisdom. As we know all that human wisdoms always depend on mind blindness. Whenever man depend on their own wisdom, the man will be blindness. They become blind in the sense that they don't understand God's plans and purpose for their lives. In the church of Corinth, people were depending upon their own wisdom. As we see also, Greek also focus on the wisdom and eloquences. Greek plays great value upon eloquences and superior wisdom which means human wisdom more than God wisdom. There were many philosophers among the Greeks who spoke word of wisdom in means of them and they tried to pursue men to believe their teaching and they completely ignored God wisdom. Even though the Jews were more intelligent, but we can see that they were spiritually blind. Their spiritual eyes and heart were fully blind because they were depending upon their own wisdom not in God wisdom. So they did not try to understand God wisdom. Though they were worshiping God, but their eye were totally blind. Due to the blindness, they crucified Jesus on the cross. If they have understood the God wisdom, they would have known that Jesus Christ was the Messiah, the Son of God. They ignored Jesus Christ, so they were failed to get free of gift of salvation. It is impossible to know the gods wisdom by mere human knowledge. It can be only possible when the spirit of God comes, which is God wisdom. Human wisdom consists of self-desires. The point number two is self-desire. Though human wisdom are humility in vain, deny the truth, jealousy and harbor bitter, bitterness. As Paul said that our selfish desire won't let us to do anything good. When we want to do right, we cannot. Instead of doing what we know is right, we will be doing Wrong. And today, I just want to attract your mind in God's wisdom. As we know that God's wisdom is divine wisdom. It is not from mind. It is not from mankind or even a human beings. It is from above. It is God's wisdom. For a human being, it is impossible to understand God's wisdom, God's plan without the Holy Spirit. Knowing God is accepting free gifts 
offered by Jesus Christ. That is also known as salvation. And as we see, the Apostle Paul also did not depend on his own wisdom or his own human wisdom. And his preaching was not with eloquences or superior wisdom. He did not teach his philosophy or he did not teach his wisdom among the people. But Paul revealed his mystery of Jesus Christ in simple and understanding language in midst of people. So as we see divided in church due to the human wisdom, not by the God wisdom. They were blindness, they were not understanding because of their own understanding and knowledge. Because they deny the God's wisdom. They depend upon superior wisdom, which is merely from human beings, from the philosophy of person. They were using own knowledge and ideas. They did not depend upon God's in the time of Corinth believers. They don't know the God's plan, what the God is going to do in their life. They were only depending upon their knowledge and wisdom. They depend upon their own ideas. So my dear brother and sister, today many people are influencing by worldly wisdom. That is too much dangerous in our life. They only seek for the benefit and the pleasure. That is not good. You and me need to ask for ourselves. Which wisdom is leading us? Absolutely, we need to be led by the wisdom of God, not by the world, not by the people's wisdom. Are we following the wisdom from men or are we following the wisdom from above or is from God's wisdom? So let us think that we may depend upon God's wisdom, not in human wisdom. Because human wisdoms may be lead to selfish desire and blindness, but if we depend upon God's wisdom, we will be no man like who are living in the world. We will be blessed by His wisdom as well as also. So my friends, my dear brothers and sisters, I just want to encourage you that we should be led by the God's wisdom, not by human wisdom or earthly wisdom. So God bless you so much. Thank you.